In this video I'm gonna show you how to fix the Fortnite not opening error or the Epic Games Launcher not opening in Fortnite Season 9, so make sure that you watch the whole video if you want to fix it. And let's start. So the first step is to open this PC, go to local disk C or the disk where you have Fortnite installed, so mine is at C, open the program files folder, open the epic games folder, open the fortnite folder, go to fortnite game, go to binaries, go to win64 and scroll a little bit down. And you should have these four applications, so the fortnite client win64 shipping, the fortnite client win64 shipping BE, fortnite client win64 shipping EAC and the fortnite launcher. Now what you want to do is right click on the first one, click on properties, go to the compatibility tab and check run this program in compatibility mode 4 and you should have windows 8 here. Now check the disable full screen optimizations box and you can also check the run this program as an administrator but I wouldn't recommend that. You can try it and see if it helps. If it doesn't, I would recommend just going back here and disabling it. Once you check the run this program in compatibility mode for box and the disable full screen optimizations box, what you want to do is do the same thing for all of the four applications. Once you're done, the next step is to scroll a little bit up in the folder, in the Win64 folder, and open the BattleEye folder. Once you open it, Double click on uninstall battleeye.bat. It says would you like to uninstall the battleeye servers from your system, click on yes. Click on yes again and it says battleeye servers has been uninstalled, click on ok. Now install battleeye by clicking on install battleeye.bat. Click on yes. Once you're done you can continue to the next step which is to go back to the win64 folder and open the easy anti-cheat folder. Once you open it, double click on easy anti-cheat setup, click on yes and click on repair service and this should be done in a couple of seconds and there it is. Click on finish and you have just reinstalled the easy anti-cheat program. Once you're done with this step you can now close the folder and the next step or the fourth step is to click on the search bar and type system configuration and open the system configuration app. Go to the boot tab, click on advanced options and make sure that the number of processors box is checked. When you check it, what you want to do is click on here and select the highest number that you can. So for me it's 8, click on 8 and click on OK. Now click on apply and click on OK again. It says you may need to restart your computer to apply these changes. What you want to do is just click on exit without restart because you'll be restarting your PC later. The next step is to click on the search bar again and type Windows Defender Firewall and open it. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now scroll and find the Epic Games Launcher and Fortnite. So there it is, the Epic Games Launcher. And what you want to do is make sure that the Epic Games Launcher is selected. If you can select it, then click on Change Settings. And you are now able to change the settings in the Windows Firewall. I would recommend putting the Epic Games Launcher checked in the private and public box for both of them. And then scroll a little bit down and find Fortnite. And make sure that Fortnite is checked also. Once you're done, you can click on OK and you can now exit the Windows Defender Firewall. And the last step is to click on the server again, type Registry Editor and open it, click on Yes. And now click on the arrow next to HQ Local Machine, click on the arrow next to System, expand Current Control Set. Now expand control and find the graphics drivers folder. There it is. 
Now click on it. And once you click on it, what you want to do is delete the TDR delay file. So just click on it, right click on it, click on delete, click on yes, and you can now close the registry editor. And there's one more step and that is to verify the Fortnite game files which you can do by opening the Epic Games Launcher. Once you open it, click on library, click on the settings under Fortnite and click on verify. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe and like this video if it helped and if it didn't then please comment down below and I'll try and help you. Thanks for watching and bye.